Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video we're gonna compare the 50mm f1.4 from Contax Zeiss against the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 because both Canon FD and Contax Zeiss line offer really amazing lenses but they have different characteristics that they may work or not for you so in this video I wanna help you to understand which set of lenses you should bid or not the contact size is usually the winner, but the Canon FD is offering great features for the box. So if you would like to know the characteristic of both lenses and to let you understand which set you should build, keep watching the video until the end. Let's start to talk about the main advantage of the Canon FD. These lenses are really cheap. I bought the 50mm f1.8 SC, so it's uh, spectrum coated or super coated, I don't remember for 30 euros and another 15 euros for the adapter so with 45 euros i got a 50 millimeters f1.8 with full control of the aperture ring and the focus ring and a great advantage with the canon ft is that you don't have to modify them to have uh, uh, the click aperture ring because uh, with a dummy adapter you can just basically close the lens up to uh, let's say f16 with this uh, model of lenses and then you can close and open the aperture with this ring so you're gonna have a seamless uh, transition between f16 to f1.8 and this is a great feature if you are playing with uh, some different exposures levels in the set while with the contact size you really have to hard modify the lens uh, so in this case you should change the mount and the click the lens removing the uh, spherical bolts inside the lens. So it's a little bit more expensive to have a proper set of video lenses uh, with the contact size. Uh, roughly we are talking about uh, 100 euros extra for lens, so it's quite expensive. The second advantage of the Canon FD over the contact size is that uh, they are really easy to find. You can easily find lenses from ultra wide angle to telephoto. Uh, they are really popular and uh, they are still good in the market because the build quality is not that great but is good enough to stay alive for a really long time. In this case, uh, for example, this 50 mm f1.8, it's uh, totally made of plastic. It has a really annoying uh, uh, mount system, the Canon FD mount system that uh, in this case I have to be the silver ring uh, version. You have to open the lens, twist this silver ring and then you are able to remove the lens. And uh, to put it back you have to be sure that okay in this case is aligned uh, these two metal dots are aligned and then you can match red dot with red dot and close it again and then lock the lens and it's not really fast when you want to swap lenses on set but uh, it's a little bit secure system of locking the lens plus you have the opportunity to open the aperture ring with this system while on the other end, the contact size lenses are built like a tank. They are the best in the market. You can easily crack a Leica R lenses and this size is gonna be still perfectly fine. Another great feature of the Canon FD lenses is that they are super lightweight. They are like 30% lighter than the contact size lenses. I have a bunch of Canon FD and contact size and all of them are basically 30% lighter than the contact size uh, lenses. So if you travel a lot and you want to keep your uh, backpack or luggage lightweight, the Canon FD offers you a great advantage over the contact size. And that's why I'm keeping these lenses, because in some situations I'm really packing a lot of stuff and uh, if the project let me use uh, this type of lenses, I uh, can easily grab them and save 30% of weight. Another great characteristic of the Canon FD is the smooth bokeh rendering. Because these lenses don't suffer from the aspherical aberration like the contact size. So if you really like smooth bokeh rendition, even if they have hexagonal shape stop down, uh, you should really look for the Canon FD no matter what. So this Canon FD sounds really amazing, but like for other characteristics the contact size are way superior. Let's start to talk about the Zeiss experience. 
when you turn this ring and this aperture ring you cannot go back it's so smooth so precise it's really high quality uh, material and uh, it's really difficult to go back with other lenses try to listen the sound that this lens produce there is a drum in the background I'm not sure you can hear it let's wait no you can barely hear anything and it's the same with the aperture ring it's really smooth and in photography this aperture ring is gonna give you the best experience you can uh, think about it while on the other hand the Canon FD this is the focus uh, ring it's a little bit stiff but wait, this is the aperture ring. This is the best part. Ah, oh, it's crazy. It's super loud. So it's really not pleasing to operate the aperture ring with the Canon FD. But this is a minor thing. It's not that great uh, uh, deal breaker. And the other great characteristic that the contact dice lenses offer you that you cannot find anywhere else is basically the 3D render or the 3D pop typical from Zeiss and uh, this is a characteristic caused by uh, a spherical aberration while the Canon FD can easily control a spherical aberration the Zeiss lenses use this uh, a spherical aberration as feature to have the 3D pop render and in my opinion is the best feature of a lens uh, because it's really giving you a lot of three-dimensionality in the photo that you can always reproduce the 3D feeling in a picture uh, thanks to light and composition but you cannot really reproduce the spherical aberration that it's outlining the main subject in your picture so it's really a characteristic that you can only find with Zeiss lenses and some other lenses I will talk in another video and another great advantage of the contact Zeiss lenses is the color reproduction it's really accurate it's a little bit on the cold side compared to the Canon FD but uh, the saturation in the colors is uh, really good and with the Canon FD uh, if you work with video uh, you're gonna have a little bit of troubles to bring back the colors if you're filming with log or raw format the contact size in my opinion offers uh, better looking flares while the Canon FD offers a really strong blue flare that I personally don't love so at the end of the day you can easily work with both uh, system uh, it's all about the budget you can spend if you have a low budget just go with the Canon FD they offer great value for the money I bought the 28mm f2.8 the 50mm f1.8 and the 70 to 200 f10 uh, f4 for less than 100 euros so for the bucks you cannot really beat the Canon FD line and uh, you're not gonna struggle to build your set of lenses you can easily find uh, ultra wide angle medium and uh, telephoto lenses while with the contact size it's really difficult to find uh, the ultra wide lenses on the other hand if you're looking for superior uh, optical performance the Zeiss 3D render lenses that they're gonna stay with you for all your life and great color reproduction if the budget is not a problem just go with the contact Zeiss they're getting more difficult to find so I really recommend you to start to build your set of contact size because probably soon they're not gonna be available anymore in the market because who owns these lenses is gonna keep them and don't forget that these contact size lenses are really expensive if you're looking for the 21 mm f2.8 forget about it you will never find it and if you find it it's gonna be over 2000 euros while with the Canon FD you can easily find the 20 mm f2.8 for around 300 euros so with around 400 euros maybe 500 euros you can build pretty amazing set of Canon FD lenses while with the contact size be ready to spend more than uh, three or four thousand euros minimum in my case luckily I work mostly with the 50 millimeters so I could have choose the 28 millimeters f2.8 as a wide angle and I have an 85 millimeters f2.8 for the close-up but if you play more with a wide angle 
uh, as a standard lens and you're gonna have some problems regarding budget and uh, to find the lenses for your set. I hope that this video was helpful to let you decide which set of lenses you should build and if you would like to support the channel consider to subscribe to keep it alive. So thank you for watching guys, I'll see you next time, ciao!